For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Youth Road to Glory here on FIFA 18. In episode 1 yesterday, we signed 5 new youth players. If you want to know the minimal, but still, the rule set for this series, then go back and watch episode number 1, uh, and you'll be able to stay up to date with everything that's going on with this save. We played the entirety of the first month of the season yesterday, and we're going to be doing a month per episode pushing forward until we reach the Premier League. So I'll be playing at least one, maybe two games in today's episode, depending on what happens with regards to Carabao Cup. And then when we get out of the transfer window, I'll be playing three and simulating the rest. So uh, we'll be pushing forward a month per episode uh, for the rest of the series until we reach the Premier League. As I mentioned, we brought in five new players, one of which is Dimitrov, who can actually play at right back as well as left back. So I'm playing him on the right hand side and I've brought in Mies to come in on the left. Then we have uh, Bejarano, Stoyanov and Wright on the bench. And we also have Bell here on the uh, on the reserves as well. He's only 49 rated currently. Can play at right wing, left mid or at cam. So can be used in a multitude of different areas. Uh, three star skills, four star weak foot. I haven't been too lucky with regards to weak foot and skill moves for my youngsters to this point. Just two star and two star for right. Stoyanov is three star weak foot, two star skills. Uh, Bejarano said about two star, two star, and then Dimitrov is three star, two star. So I haven't yet gotten any four star players or high weak foot players, but there's still plenty of time for that to happen. We currently have two youth staff members, and we're saving. We are saving for uh, future players as well. I'm not yet accepting this offer from Millwall for Lyle Taylor. I don't have a striker that I could bring in. It's a good enough quality to warrant letting Lyle Taylor leave at this stage. The whole process of moving on the first team squad to replace them all with youth regens will probably take about 12 to 18 months. So we can't do it all in one go. So we will uh, we'll just take it slowly. We're not going to rush into it. Otherwise, I'll make the team so bad that I don't stand a chance of actually progressing out of League One. And we don't want to stump the progress by uh, doing things too quickly. We have already reached both of the youth development objectives of the board for the season already, which is fantastic news. Our manager rating has gone up to 82. We still have players that we'd be willing to sell. I still have players we're waiting to hear back from with regards to our youth scale. We have two players in the... Oh, well, Taylor offer has been retracted. That's not a problem. We do have two players in the youth squad at present that I can't as of yet call up because they're both 15. Ruben Hara, who is my scout future star for this year, and Will Robinson, a young right back. So uh, we do have two players we could call up at some point this year when they turn uh, 16. But currently, we're not able to uh, to call anyone else up. Waiting to hear back from my other scout, youth scout that's out currently looking. Uh, the Scottish, uh, was it Ewan McDonald? I think was his name. Yes, Ewan McDonald is having a look at uh, Scotland at the minute. And uh, Alexander Eriksson is looking in England. So uh, hoping to get some good scouts or good reports back from both of those guys towards the end of today's episode. I will play the first game of the league season against Scunthorpe, and then we'll advance forward, and I'll probably play the second game against uh, Doncaster for today's episode before we round out the month of August. Uh, but considering we're in the thick of the transfer window and this transfer deadline day, I'm not sure how much stuff's going to go on transfer-wise, so we'll just play it by year. But once we're out of the window, I'll play three games and simulate the rest per episode. So we are getting a decent video length per video, but we'll start with this game against Scunthorpe. We are away from home, so we will play in the away kit. And uh, new signing Dimitrov will start on the right-hand side. We'll have Bejarano, Stoyanov and Wright all on the bench with Parrot and Suarez, uh, or Soares, in the midfield. Parrot is in the process of leaving, I believe, although that talk we have had talks break down at least once for him, but I believe we had a second offer come in, and it's in the process of going through. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, let's go and play Scunthorpe. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying and looking forward to the rest of this series. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on it. Hit that notification bell too to ensure you get notified every single time a new video goes live. Of course, the Southampton series is daily, and this series is coming to you four times a week. Check the schedule, the new schedule in the description so that you uh, don't miss out on any videos. But for now, let's go and play Scunthorpe, see if we can get off to a great start in League One. 
Turn his side. Ball into the middle. Lee Novak. Well, that's not the start to the League One season we were hoping for, was it? Lee Novak scores after two and a half minutes and we're 1-0 down. That's not going to be a sign of things to come, I hope. But <laughs> what a way to start our first game of the league season. Driving down the right-hand side, cuts the inside and didn't quite read it in time. And to be fair, it's a good touch and finish. Quickly done. Into the bottom corner it goes. We find ourselves 1-0 down early on. Uh, let's go and get ourselves an early equaliser, shall we? Novak <laughs> out wide here to Adelikun again. Caused me all sorts of trouble for the first goal. And that's looping towards the back post. But Dimitrov wins it well. Harry Forrestal will just look to get away from the man that's with him. Lyle Taylor played in. His touch is heavy, but he's still got possession. He's done brilliantly there, Lyle Taylor. And Kwesi Appi has made a great run. We've slotted him in well too with uh, Barcham. And we'll turn inside with Kwesi. Oh, but unfortunately, the touch is far too heavy. That's one thing I'm going to have to get used to, is how poor these players are initially before we're able to start training the youth players that come in to be better and Dimitrov does enough there to put off man at the back post from nearly a chance at one end to nearly a chance at the other. League one looks like it might be quite end to end. <laughs> Crofts inside given away. Play that quickly across here. Barcham does well. Harry Forrest has drifted into the middle for some reason and Abdu's gone out wide. Dimitrov will play that in there to Lyle Taylor. Abdu's made a great run and I'll look to slot him through. It's a lovely ball. We'll hold the ball up. Give it back to Lyle Taylor, who's got support here. And Trotter will find Barcham. And Barcham could have an effort here. It's blocked by Vermeil. And unfortunately, oh, that's a foul for Quezzi as he just face plants into the goalkeeper. Not able to get to the loose ball. Still 1-0 down. Oh, that, thank you. Well done. Trotter steps in well. Give this to Lyle Taylor. Just knock it there for Quezzi. And Lyle Taylor will go again. And Lyle is in here for 1-1. Deadly finish. I mentioned yesterday that the partnership between Quezzi Appiah and Lyle Taylor was clear to see. And there it is again. Lyle to Quezzi. Quezzi back to Lyle. Into the bottom corner goes the ball. We have ourselves quite the partnership up top. Hopefully they can fire us to a decent first season here at Wimbledon. And with the addition perhaps of a couple of, uh, well hopefully, a couple of uh, youth regens as well. We might find ourselves with uh, a very good front line in this save early on. We'll have to wait and see if we can build on this. Try and slot through the ball. They're looking for Harry Forrest, who's in behind. Oh, and he can't hit the target. If he'd have buried that, that'd have been the most spectacular of turnarounds. But unfortunately, he's just slashed that lovely ball by Abdu. But he can't find the target. Here's Tony. There to Vermeil. Oh, great ball in. This surely has to be and is 2-1 Scunthorpe. Delicious ball in and a very good headed finish as well. We nearly made it 2-1 to come back from 1-0 down at the other end. And now he just loses his marker in the middle. It's a really good header. Now we find ourselves 2-1 down rather than being 2-1 up. Win that header, please. Well up, Darius. We're lucky to have two big, strong physical centre-backs to start us off here in this series. Oh, I played Quezzi in and this should be and isn't 2-2. Quezzi on his left foot, not as good as he is on his right. Lyle Taylor nearly returning the favour from earlier on in the game. The chance to equalise and we've wasted it. Free kick for Scunthorpe. 20 minutes to go. Morris to take it. It's just dinked. And one by Forrester. Who's going to get to that first? Hopefully Meads. And it is the wing back that gets there first. Not quite able to find Wright with the ball forward. Got another youth regen on the field now in the shape of Wright. On the right-hand side of midfield. Shea Ojo oh, just squeezing that through, but the defender does well. Dimitrov get that into right. It just fell over there, but he's able to square it across here to Harry Forrester. And then Lyle Taylor will get it out wide to right again. On the counter here, we've got a number of options forward. It's just a matter of whether I can find any of them. Squeeze that inside there to Abdu. Across to Trotter and into Kwesi Apu. His touch let him down a little bit, but he's still doing well here, Kwesi. In there to Abdu, who spins well. Abdu with the chance and the finish. Beautiful goal. 2-2 in the 77th minute. We don't want to lose our first game of the League One season. Quezzi with good possession play. Abdu drops the shoulder, spins, and then finishes superbly. 2-2. There from Lyle Taylor. Abdu gets it down. Trotter will look for Quezzi, actually, and then go out wide here to Harry Forrester. Comes central to Quezzi again. And Lyle Taylor's made a good run. And we'll look for him. Who's going to win that foot race? It's Matthew Jilks, the goalkeeper, to punch it away. 
We'll leave that if we can. We'll take the throw in instead. Oh, what a goal that would have been if I'd have played that over the top. Dimitrov to right to Abdu. Ah, it wasn't meant to go into the box actually there. And to be fair, it's probably a foul. But he's right, trying to get away from the man that's with him. And he's done well, despite the fact his shirt was being tough. Good delivery, Quezzi Abdu with a head of war. So very close to an assist for right on debut and another goal for us in this game. Great cross, good header. And the keeper at full stretch couldn't get near it, but unfortunately it was wide by a whisker. It's Cameron McGeehan. Right, trying to step in, can't get near him. We know that could play that down the line. Oh, he scoops it over the top really nicely. And he's in here, Townsend. Cross could come, Darius Charles trying to stand him up. Oh, he's just, he's hopped over the ball there, Darius Charles. I don't know why he's done that. How is Long's throw? Not bad, but not accurate enough. Bishop, oh, it's beautifully around the corner. Good save by Long. Scunthorpe looking to win it right at the death here. Don't think our overall play deserves a defeat. We definitely deserve to get something out of this. It's been a really entertaining first game of the League One season. Darius Charles on the counter, and there is the final whistle. A 2-2 draw to start us off. Really, really pleased with that, actually. Even though we haven't won, the overall performance was great. Solid enough defensively, although uh, obviously there is room for improvement. Apparently only one shot on target, despite the fact we scored two goals. Too sure about that, but we'll take the point and we'll push forward. We will simulate every other game apart from Doncaster at the end of the month. And uh, hopefully, by that point, we'll have brought in another signing or two as well. Confirmation that Dean Parrots has left us. We did mention that we thought a second offer had come in, and indeed, uh, I'd remembered correctly. 620k added, or sorry, 400,000 added to the budget from the 620,000 uh, pounds fee that we got for him. So that will mean that we'll need to replace him on the bench, but we have players to be able to do that. Harrigan will go into the bench and uh, Zanev will stay uh, on the uh, reserves. But I don't think I'm going to be able to let anyone else go without bringing in some more replacements uh, because obviously the squad numbers are getting a little bit thin. So we're going to have to wait for our scouts to come back with more options for us. We're still waiting for the first report from uh, from Ewan McDonald and a second report from Alexander Eriksson. They're still setting up the network, uh, Ewan McDonald. Hopefully we won't get... Uh, we won't have to wait too long for a report for him. And I'm not sure whether our... Depend, well, I guess it depends what the amount of money we have left at the end of the window. But like I say, I'm not really looking to sell anyone else on. So I'm not sure whether to save at this stage or spend that 600k on uh, another youth scale. What I might do is save that money, hope that by the time we get to the January window that we've ra we're able to raise a little bit more because we've got squad numbers and then I can sign a better uh, youth scout in that third slot. Rather than spending like 300k now, let's wait and then get a better scout after January's been. That's my initial plan anyway. So let's simulate this game against Cardiff and uh, we'll see if we can get a result in the League Cup as well as in the League. Obviously, any extra prize money from a cup run would be great, but unfortunately we've lost 4-3 on penalties. Abdu and Dimitrov again with a goal. He got one in pre-season. He's got one in competitive play now as well. I'm pleased with that. Well done, Dimitrov. We've got uh, Shrewsbury next. That draw against uh, Scunthorpe actually leaves us in sixth after the first round of fixtures in League One. Surprisingly, not that many teams actually uh, actually picking up good points. Only five teams winning their opening game of the season. A lot of draws to start us off. Obviously, uh, our goal difference and goal scored keeps us where we are. So we will simulate Shrewsbury. And hopefully we can get a good win. This is our first home game of the season. Like I say, I'll play Doncaster at the end of the month. And it's the second draw of the year. And nil-nil this time around against Shrewsbury. We're quite lucky in the opening few weeks that we don't have that many midweek games. Uh, we've got a couple here in September, then one in October, one in November, one in December, though the FA Cup will start uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, we will continue to train. I haven't yet started training anyone outside the initial three players that I started to train, but give it another couple of months and I'll start to prioritise a couple of other players as well, like Wright, the winger, and uh, the other... Well, I got two wingers, didn't I? I got one younger, 40-odd rated winger. Where is he? Bell, 49 rated currently. He looks quite good technically already. Could nice Would be nice if his agility and balance could grow, but his technicals are terrible. I'm hoping he can grow of his own accord, and then, fingers crossed, over the course of the next few, uh, next few days and weeks, 
the number of uh, improvements throughout the squad will actually be quite high. That's dropped us to 11th, that draw there against Shrewsbury, but they only want mid-table mid finish from us this year. Another for John Meads. That is significant. Let me see if I can afford to let a left-back go, because I know I do have a number of wing-backs actually in the squad. It's one of the places where we are. Uh, no, see, I've only really got two backups. I've got Owens, who's 54, and Kennedy. I don't think I'm going to be able to let anyone else leave at this stage, so I'm going to be in a position where I'm having to, for the time being at least, reject any offers that come in, and then uh, we'll just have to hope that we get some good scouting options between now and January. And then we can bulk up the squad numbers-wise, start to train those players, and then sell the real-life players on uh, after that. Almost went and played Fleetwood there. We will simulate it again. My starting 11 is pretty strong for the, the club that we're out in the position. We're out in the league. It's another draw, which is frustrating. Lyle Taylor getting the goal. A 1-1 draw. So we've had a 0-0, a 1-1, nil -nil, and a 2-2. Hopefully we can get a win at some point in today's episode. We will simulate again. Like I say, going to concentrate on these... Uh, five players for now, or these three players in these five slots for now. Bayerano going up another rating, up to 62 now, which is good news. Dimitro's up to 65. Stoyan now 55 as well, so he's growing nicely. And I believe the next game, Doncaster, is the last one. We probably would have had another game in the Cup had we gotten through against Cardiff, unfortunately going out on penalties. But Donny are a very, very good side. I expect this to be quite a tough test. We are 14th in the league after three games played. I'll have a quick look and see where Doncaster are, actually. See what their start to the season has been like. Transfer for him for Andy Barcham. But again, as we mentioned, we will be rejecting offers for now and waiting till January before selling anyone. But I'm waiting for extra squad reports to come in so that we can potentially buy some players. Seth Owens is the young 54-rated uh, wingback who I do want to move on. To be fair, obviously, I want to move on all the uh, IRL players. But unfortunately, we're not in a position to be able to do that right now. Right. Where are Doncaster when it eventually loads? Where are Doncaster in the league? They are 22nd. They've got a draw and two defeats from their opening uh, from their opening three games. So we are in the better form, although we have drawn all three of our opening games. I'd like a win from this. Uh, OK. We do have an international in our ranks. Dimitrov is an international player. Fair enough. Right, let's go and play Donny and see if we can get our first win of the season. Oh, Marquis with a nice turn there. Out wide here to James Coppinger. Down the line to Tommy Rowe. Oh, slotted in nicely to Coppinger, who shoots into the side netting. We conceded early against Conthorpe. We've avoided it after two and a half minutes in this one, although the opposition have had a chance. Evidently, I'm not that good at starting... <laughs> with high concentration levels here at Wimbledon, but thankfully this time it hasn't cost us a goal. You never know, we may have even beaten Scunthorpe if I hadn't switched off in the opening few moments of the first game of the episode. We'll take the advantage there from that challenge. I'm trying to use his strength to hold off. We'll take that advantage as well and go out here to Dimitrov. I go in there to Quezzi Appiah, and Abdu can make the run. Quezzi's going to use his pace, then turn inside. Whoa, and then Boyle just arrives with the lunge of love from nowhere. And unfortunately... They've got the ball back again. Now I've got it. Now they've got it. It's Matty Blair. Now this is Just in one way than the other. Find Stevie May. It's not Stevie May. It's a different May. Good save by George Long, the goalkeeper. James Coppinger to take the corner. Cross will come in. There it is. Up goes Abdu and headed away. Coppinger down the line to Marquis. Is it back inside and they go back again? They're not playing like a side that have lost two of their opening three games, are they, Doncaster? Tommy Rowe with the effort, along with the uh, save, thankfully. But they are actually causing me quite a few problems here. I'll look for the ball over the top for Lyle Taylor, who could be in behind. I'm trying to accelerate away from the defender that's with me, and he's done well. I will turn back, then dink it into the middle, and Abdu's there with a header. It's a good save by Lawler. Quezzi. We'll go again, Quezzi. And he could be in behind here. He'll pick up the loose ball as it drops there off the defender. And I'll turn and then look to bend it. Oh, good save by Lawler. Wasn't necessarily as far towards the corner as I was hoping it would be. But still a decent effort from Quezzi. And everyone's falling over everyone else in the box. And it's going to be cleared away by James Coppinger and Neil Mason, unfortunately. Oh, Shalea cuts that out, though. Centre-back still forward from the corner. Lyle Taylor gets this under control and turns well. Lyle Taylor, well blocked by Wright, the defender. Starting to grow in confidence in this game now. Chances coming quicker and quicker for us. 
Miss Coppinger. Down the line to Tommy Rowe. Nice turn. Coppinger. Back to Coppinger. Intercepted by Forrester. Can we get a goal on the brink of half time? We're very nearly at the uh, half time whistle now. We'll play that into the path of Lyle Taylor, who will drive in towards goal. Lyle Taylor with the effort and the finish too. Wimbledon 1, Doncaster Rovers 0. In stoppage time at the end of the first half. That's a great finish from Lyle Taylor. I'm enjoying using him. Barcham would throw. I'll go back to the left back here and then we'll work it centrally. That dude could drop the shoulder. God, the first touch of death. But at least we've still got possession. To play a 1-2 here maybe. We have done. Lyle Taylor, good save by Lawler. Taylor causing problems again. Harry Forrester tackles but can't keep the ball in, unfortunately. Goal kick. Nearly 2-0, though. Whiteman into May. Waiting for that through ball. There it is. Oshilaya cuts it out nicely. Do Bartram. I keep calling him Bartram. I don't know why. It's a habit I've got to get out of. It's Bartram. Apologies. Lyle Taylor. Dink that. Harry Forrester in behind. Oh, how was Wright come across and got on a foot to that? Deflection. Defender with a stunning interception. Lyle Taylor with a delivery. Up goes Oshley Shire. Head that back across with Quezzi to a teammate. I can't find one, unfortunately. And it is going to stay 1 0 for now. I'm going to take Trotter off because he's carrying an injury. Now Quezzi's also carrying an injury, which is frustrating. Um, I won't bring McDonald on yet. We'll leave Quezzi for the time being. But, oh, God, don't give me injuries now. Mason drills that across there to Andrew. Down the line, picked off by Dimitrov. Oh, that was poor. That was very poor. Marquis back to Andrew. Cross could come in, there it is. Stoyanov underneath it does enough physically to put the man off, even though he didn't actually win the header. And Wright will look to send Lyle Taylor away. Donny have committed a lot of men forward here. Lyle Taylor could turn into the box. And he's got Quezzi up here with him. It's not Quezzi up here, I've taken up here. How have you missed that? Oh, my Lord. McDonald. I wish it was Quezzi Appiah that was still on the pitch. That's quite possibly the worst miss I've ever had in career mode ever. McDonald, with an open goal, five yards out, hits the post. What is life? How are you that bad? I could really do with another striker, couldn't I? Harry Forrester driving in towards the box now. Can he finish? Yes. That's how you finish, McDonald. 2-0. <laughs> How bad was that open goal? Oh my word. It's 2 0 Wimbledon. We are going to get a win. Our first of the league season. Has <laughs> he missed that? Oh, McDonald. What is your finishing stat? 65. Ugh. Leave your own jokes in the comments section. 2 0 Wimbledon. Mason. Down the line. Williams with a cross. Well, show you underneath it. And Forrest is there to recover. Abdu out to right. Good touch and turn. Stoyanov to set up a counter, maybe. Meads. I'll look for McDonald. And can he put this one away? He's not the fastest. He gets the ball. McDonald! Good save by Lawler. Still better chance for McDonald there. Oh, good tackle by Taylor. Oh, sorry, by Wright on Taylor. And apparently he got an advantage there. Not really too sure what for. I'll win that header. And we'll keep it in here with Wright. And we'll... Oh, I was going to try and do the defender. I didn't, but there's the final whistle. A 2-0 win. Our first win of the League One season. We're still undefeated, of course. And the first win that we've done manually controlling the side as well. Really pleased with that. That was a very good performance. Doncaster didn't necessarily play like a team that were where they are in the league, which is down near the relegation zone. Probably in the relegation zone at this stage after another defeat. But I'm really pleased with that. And that moves us up to eighth. Eighth position. Player injured. Appy is out for five days. And Liam Trotter is out for five days. We can manage that. We can manage that. Monthly scouting up uh, report. This is from Ewan McDonald. Our first one. 62 to 84. A goalkeeper. Yes, please. I can train him. Ben Peterson. 63 to 85. He's 17. Looks like he's a mid centre mid or a defender. 39 to 51 overall. It's, uh, 17 doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, I'm going to say no to this guy. Uh, 60 to 85 as well for Duncan Scott, but he's 15 and better than Ben. I'm going to say no to Peterson. We will call up Duncan Scott and also Gordon McCall. 
by the looks of things, could be pretty decent too. So we'll also call you up. I might as well call everybody up that I can right now, just to bulk out the uh, the squad, and then we can, uh, you know, figure things out between now and January, and then see what we need to do uh, with regards, you know, squad depth in any given position. But if I call up as many people as possible, then that's only going to give us enough options throughout the team throughout the season. I am going to, I will start training Ian Morris. He's six foot four, so hopefully we can uh, get his rating up quite quickly. These three are all 15 years of age, so I can't call them up yet, but Gordon McCall, again, good acceleration and sprint speed early on. Five foot seven. We'll promote him to the senior team. I like that. I like that very much. I'm not sure what their skill moves will be and uh, a weak star, etc. Let's have a look, shall we? Quezzy's out for five days. We don't have a game for a week, so it should be fine. McCall, one star, one star. Cheers, game. <laughs> that sucks. Right, well, we'll move everybody around so that they're all in the right position. Oh, I can't believe he's one star, one star. What a buzzkill that is. McCall, one star, one star. Wow. But overall, as an episode, I'm quite pleased with that. We still have transfer deadline day to do, though, today. Before we get to the end of the month, so let's head into that now. Again, still don't think I'm going to look to sell anyone else on at this stage. We're going to give it another... A uh, couple of months before we think about moving anyone on, on moving anyone else on. Another big offer for Lyle Taylor, which this one I will reject immediately rather than letting it time out. Oh, uh, did see Leon Goretzka to Tottenham as one of the biggest deals. An offer for Seth Owens. I still haven't yet got another wing back, so we'll wait on that one. As soon as the 15-year-olds turn 16, I can call them up. Then we can look to move those guys on. Latest deals, uh, Schmelzer has gone from... Dortmunds to British Major Gladbach. The biggest deals in the window so far, though. Tom Lamar to Arsenal for 66.7. Raheem Sterling to Bruce Mucci and Bruce Mucci Gladbach to Bayern Munich for 50.8. And mimicking what we did in the Roma series, Riyad Mahrez to Roma for 39.9 million pounds. That's quite interesting. We'll see what happens on an hourly basis now pushing through. Rather than go through... Oh, that's a big jump. Juan Fran 10.7. Any other big ones in there? No? Okay. Uh, I'd rather than go through every league team like I normally do, considering we're not in a top division, I won't do that at the end of this one. An offer for Andy Barcham. Whilst I do have a couple of wingers coming in now, I'm just going to hold off for the time being. Uh, any other big deals going through? No, just some medium ones. Wait to see if there's any other massive deals that go through between now and the end of the window. Uh, nothing there. Six hours to go. Um... Uh, Maximilian Mayer to Werder Bremen from Schalke. Domenico Crescito to Monaco from Zenit. And Denisov from Lokomotiv Moscow to Manchester City. Still no deals to break through that big three. Uh, a medium-sized deal going through there. Was that on here? No. Still at £253 million. Another big jump. But what is it? An offer for John Meads. Again, I'm not really in a position at the minute to let go of any wing-backs, but hopefully soon, hopefully January, we can really make a big jump. Uh, Ibora's gone to Schalke on loan. Oh, Brahimi's gone to Juventus, 43.5. There you go, that's another big deal. Anything else to go through with three hours to go? Potential of another big deal there as well, actually. Uh, not beating Brahimi's one. Perhaps another couple of uh, medium deals, I'm not sure. We'll have a look at the full transfer window uh, when we get out the uh, other side of the 31st of uh, August. Another offer for Barcham, which we will reject. A Campos from Marseille to Athletic Bilbao, £12 million. Nothing done there. And uh, as the final hour ticks down, our transfer deadline day is over. Three uh, free agents signed, and we've got some... Uh, oh, no, it's just monthly scout. Oh, no, that is a report, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no, that's just on the youth players we've already got. Sorry, I'm getting myself confused. Uh, any growth? Not that I can see from those three. Hopefully, uh, Ruben Hara will continue to improve. All three of them, hopefully, will continue to improve, to be fair. Monthly scouting update. Yeah, this is one I want to look at. I wasn't getting myself confused. 55 to 69, I'm going to say no. We want players that are going to get 70 and upwards if they're going to stay with us for a number of seasons. Dominic Bennett. Hello, six foot six goalkeeper. Sign immediately. That might mean that the other goalkeeper we've got, we might sell on, actually. 55 to 69, no. 56 to 74, we've just... Oh, though he's 6 foot 6. Hmm. Hmm. We'll wait. If I could get two 6 foot 6 goalkeepers, maybe I can let the other one go. Uh, we'll say no to you. Uh, 55 to 75, we'll hold off. We'll hold off. 
62 to 85 shows good potential. We'll wait another month for these guys. I think I'm going to say I'm going to say no to this guy because we just called up the other goalkeeper. But let's have a look and see. Actually, can I call those guys up to the uh, to the first team now? Uh, Dominic Bennett, six foot six. Wow, that's going to be a really good signing for us. I think I will start training him immediately. At least I haven't wasted a training session with the other goalkeeper now. But we have Sanev, sorry Morrison, and now Bennett as well. Now Bennett will take over, and Bennett will be the one that I'll train. Bennett will be the one that I'll train immediately. Six foot six. He's got four star weak foot as well. Sanev, we can let go now. He's six foot five, but we'll train Bennett, and we'll train Morrison. I don't need to train Morrison. I'll train Bennett, and uh, Long will be my first team keeper for the time being. But as soon as Bennett is able to step in, we will put him into the first team. Let's compare stats just quickly. So 67 to 59, 66 to 53, 64 to 50, 66 to 35, really poor positioning, 69 to 54. It's going to take a little bit of growth, but there is definitely something we can do there. And we, McCall, can you play anywhere else other than, oh, you can play it on either side, which is good news. And actually, Wright can play in central midfield too. So it's nice to have some, uh, some youth players that can play in a multitude of positions. Uh, Berahano's only centre-back. And uh, I believe Bell is on either side of midfield. And at Cam too. Not that we're playing with a Cam yet. Still no strikers though. So Lyle Taylor and Kwesi Appiah are going to maintain to be my starting front too. We've had a good start to the season. I'm pleased with how things are going in this series so far. You'll have to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll have a look at the biggest deals that went through in this window. So Lamar, Sterling, Brahimi, Mares, Danny Parejo to Schalke for 39 and a half. Inyaki Williams to Southampton for 37.2. Sergi Roberto to Napoli. Julian Brandt to Everton. Goretzka to Spurs. Kagawa to Liverpool. Robin to Atletico Madrid. Bellarabi to Inter. Koscielny to PSG. Florenzi to Leverkusen. Some big deals here. Quaresma to Rassenball Sport Leipzig. Diego Rugani. Sorry, Daniele Rugani to uh, West Ham. Jesus Corona to Ajax. Oyarzabal to Chelsea. Gulam to Liverpool, Jonas to Real Madrid, Daniel Vaz to Stoke, Nastasic to Burnley, Gignac to uh, Dortmund, Vishka to Manchester City, I don't know anything about him, Jamie Vardy to Real Madrid, that's a thing that's happened, Ibrahima Traore to Barcelona, Emre Chan to AC Milan, uh, Martins to Liverpool, Nathaniel Klein to Bayern Munich, Zay Luis to Watford, the other big ones, Piszczek to Real Madrid, Ika Munin to West Brom, Bernard to Barcelona, Acerbi to Stoke, Elvedi to AC Milan, Morales to Sevilla, Kalu to Napoli. Some big... Jamie Vardy to Real Madrid, are you sure? Right, well, we are eighth after four games. And uh, as mentioned previously, it will be one episode or one month per episode. So we'll have a number of simulated games next month. But uh, hopefully we can have a good second month and maybe sneak into the playoffs by the end of September. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Check the description for the schedule. Follow me on Twitter as well. And for now, I'll see you next time.